I chose to tell the Sundiata story because it's a story that kind of, as soon as I read it, grabbed, really grabbed my attention, grabbed my heart, grabbed my imagination. It's, a, it's very much known throughout the world as a story about a great warrior king. But I didn't feel able to tell, as a woman, a story about a great warrior king. I wanted to tell about the influence of the women in his life on this great warrior king. So there's all kind of the, these kind of stories of these three women that intertwine and cross that I found really, really fascinating and therefore decided to tell it the way we've told it. I love working with Raymond and Kwame because we understand each other, very naturally we understand each other. It's totally joy-led and, and um, sometimes I can't imagine doing show now without music. When she tells us the situation, we have to, to see the picture of what's happening and then we play instrumental, but we always have to, to, get, to catch that picture. When the, the old woman is traveling, she, she transformed to, to, to the buffalo. So the dodo has to be like buffalo. <laughs> when I'm doing it, I'm just in a joyful state. So we're in a state of joy and we take that on stage with us. And that's what we do. Amanuel, Amanuel, Amanuel.